Hi, everybody, and welcome to day three of this business boot camp that we've put together for you to understand what it would be like to be your own boss, right? And have your own essential oils business. Now, um, I'm sure you're going to be watching one of the replays, and I hope if you have any questions at all, I encourage you, please, please reach out to me. I'm happy to share with you. Um, just want to get this rolling so you've got this in your um, sequence of videos that you've watched. So let's get this party started. I'm going to share my screen. And let's get rolling. Let me just move a few things out of the way. Completely knocking everything over. I think this should be good. Okay, cool. Yay. All right, here we go. So day three of the boot camp, we've gone over a lot of information over the last couple of days, what the opportunity is all about, how you're getting paid. We're going to talk a little bit about today, how we go about that. What steps do we need to take? I want to keep this as simple as possible. Like any business, um, it's about keeping things simple. You can make it as very complicated and that can be overwhelming, especially if you don't come from a place where you've had a business before. There are a lot of moving parts, but it does not need to be complicated, especially when you have a business plan and a system that works. So we're going to try and break this down for you as simple as possible. You'll have this as a resource you can come back to. Of course, I am available to help you every step of the way, and you can ask any questions that you have. So please feel free to do so. So keep in mind, doTERRA always leads with the products. Our products are something you can rely on and just be assured that the quality and the efficacy as far as its effectiveness when you're offering solutions to people, our vitamins, our hair care products, our nutrition products, the cleaning products, all of these are problem solving to help change lives. And ultimately that is what our business is all about, to helping people change their lives to more toxic or less toxic, right? Um, environments to be more healthy, happy, and strong. So um, just trust these oils, understand these oils and know that they're available. Of course, we had mentioned before this new sun care line was just introduced. We're in the middle of summer right now, but it doesn't matter if you're in the summer months or the winter months, these UV, um, mineral-based products reflect UV light, UVA, and UVB, as well as some blue light. So the face facial one here that's there in the center, it's like a stick, like a deodorant stick. It's very easy to apply, and I absolutely love it because it also protects from some of this blue light that so many people are exposed to when we're sitting in front of our computers through an office environment or just through the winter months. So keep that in mind. doTERRA is all about helping people um, these products are wonderful. So new product line, something to get excited about and share with people. And then remember I said doTERRA is always offering something new, something to look forward to in September. Well, one of the many things to look forward to in September, um, we have some new products coming out. So I'm not going to share what this is, but I'm super excited about it. Um, but yes, it's going to address so many things that so many people need right now. And that will be introduced in September at the event, which is the... Um, the convention that's coming up in September. So stay tuned for that, um, that announcement. And if we can get you up and running and launched, you'll be very much prepared and ready to share this with people. So remembering the three steps or the three different stages, right? Keep this in mind. We're gonna, are we looking at spare time for you? Are you looking for part-time 30 hours a week? Or are you looking for a full-time opportunity? I think most people start with that spare time to just sort of see how this is. And if you're working full-time, haul in buckets, because at the end of the day, you gotta get that water in. Remember the story that we shared earlier that Seth shared about the man hauling buckets and while he was to feed his family, to earn the money that's necessary to pay the bills and 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 bring food home and, and do everything you need to do. You gotta haul those buckets to get the bills paid. That as you're doing that, you're building this pipeline. So it's not uncommon for people who are hauling buckets right now to feed their families and do what needs to be done to start doing this part time. So there is no time like the present. There is two or three hours a day, I believe, 
that we can turn off the cell phones and stop playing those video games and work a little bit on this business opportunity if you see yourself doing this in the future. So spare time is definitely realistic for a lot of people to get started. I encourage you to consider that just to, let's launch this and get you going. Um, part time is a little bit more commitment um, and you're going to see results and obviously start seeing some of that income that's going to help supplement right? So we're, at, you know, part-time is about 400 if we can get you to premiere soon and for we're three to three to nine months. Um, so working spare time or into a part-time position where we're getting you that premiere rank so you can re realize that income, I think is very exciting. Um, I am all in as you are all in. So you give me the the time that you're looking to do, and I will meet you there and help you reach achieve that. And then, of course, a full time commitment where you are. I will talk to you every day. <laughs> so we we will do everything we need to do to help you get this business launched. And I'm so very excited. You will never be on your own. So keep those in mind. I'm going to share with you and some of the resources that are available to to you through doTERRA. One of the, the resources is our build guide. I meant to pull that out of the shelf, but I don't want to distract from the recording here right now. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can do that and I'll grab it. Okay, we're back to recording, but I wanted to share with you the guide. So they're beautiful guides. This is the build guide. There's also different guides on living and sharing doTERRA. So when you're talking to people and we'll refer to these in the future, but I wanted you to see the printed versions of these. So you can also download these for free, but you can purchase these so you have the printed copies. So when you're actually talking, but this is the, um, the slide that you're seeing now. And when you take a good look at it, I. I want to just point out, which I really don't feel that I did on the last video. Um, if you look under the E and the P and the S for silver, it'll tell you specifically what you're looking for in your volume to rank for those different levels. And it's sort of like a, the stepping stones that I showed you, right? So elite is that 3000 OV or overall team volume. You're enrolling about 15 plus people and you're looking to approximately $360 a month. So in many cases that not only pays for your own individual oils, so your oils are paid for, but it also makes you a little income. So it's nice to see. Premier is the next step. And now what you've done, Premier is one of the first bonus ranks, which would really be considered one of the leadership, the first of the leadership roles. It's not one of the higher leadership roles where pools are involved, but Premier has just recently been given a, an empowerment bonus because at this stage, you're actually helping to support two other people. So at the point that you've got two EXs under you, those are executive levels. So if you remember from yesterday, our executive levels are essentially two individuals who have 2000 PV underneath them, our overall volume, team volume. So a premier ranks premier when they have two people on their front line who have 2000 people underneath them. So I hope this helps you understand what each of these ranks are, because this is going to be really important as we continue through when you're trying to visualize where you want to be. And it doesn't matter. I mean, yes, we all want to be diamonds, essentially. But at the end of the day, smaller goals help us to achieve the bigger goals. And realizing that a lot of this isn't going to happen overnight, we need to take advantage of these steps, right? When you're climbing a staircase, you don't reach for that top step, you're, you're working on the little steps that get you up to that top step. So I wanted to make sure that this was clear to you. I will definitely share the link in the Zoom comments for um, you to be able to print this out, but you'll also have access to this on the doTERRA website through your back office. So pretty exciting stuff. Don't forget the Founders Club right now. Again, Founders is, this is uh, July of 2002. Super excited, still places left and what an opportunity to have that sixth, up, sixth way of getting paid and a $100,000 bonus, uh, which is essentially equivalent to what a um, bonus would be in January for these founders. So great opportunity, everyone is capable of getting there. So I want you to consider 
that um, we're, we're visually stimulated, right? And, and oftentimes doTERRA is referred to as an empowerment um, business, right? It, it helps people, it empowers them to be healthier, it empowers them to grow. And from a business standpoint, it's no different. We are, I, I've probably learned more sales skills and more personal development skills while running my doTERRA business than I ever did in my past life and working in corporate America sales. And integrity is huge too. But what I've come to recognize and what I do a lot different now than I did way back then, um, you know, we're not, is, is understanding what your brand is to how do you want people to see you? Because at the end of the day, people buy from people they know, like, and trust. And it's no different, but, but we're all triggered by visual stimuli. Um, Joe and I watch a particular channel pretty much routinely every evening as we're winding down for the day. And they have this reoccurring commercial on for these vitamins that just make everybody feel wonderful and blah, blah. You know, they're, they're great and they're all the fruits and vegetables you need. And, and we're seeing that every night, every night, two or three times a night. And I'll be honest with you, it got to a point where I'm like, Hmm, I wonder what these things got to offer. So at the end of the day, I am not immune. Nobody is immune to visual stimulation that's consistent and repetitive. So if we're sharing information with integrity and compliantly, you know, and consistently, then people will definitely come to trust you and trust your information and get to want to be curious about trying something new. So visualizing and preparing information and sharing your story consistently doesn't have to be complicated. It just needs to be simple, forthright, with integrity and consistent. So I want, to, we're going to be going through this a little bit, because I think this is really important to any business owner is as they're first getting started and to actually realize success, because the beautiful thing about doTERRA is it doesn't need to be complicated. It just needs to be um, consistent, right, and simple. And the fact that the business plan is in place, you don't need to reinvent this right? You don't have to create this. It's duplication. It's duplicatable. And you're reaching out to people who have done this themselves or have learned from the mistakes of trying to recreate. I'm a creative soul. I tend to love to say, well, if this works good, why don't I recreate this and do it? Mistake. I don't do it that way anymore. I keep to the simple plan and I just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And that is going to be key to your success. So I will be teaching the same steps and the same uh, intro classes that you will be teaching. There won't be anything more complicated, but there are simple steps. So visualize your goal, visualize your team success. You know, none of us make it on our own. There are no billionaires in the world that got there on their own. OK, I don't care <laughs> what anybody says, you know, you cannot get to these higher ranks or million dollars. You can't be making millions of dollars on your own. There's just not enough time in the day. So you are going to have a team. And the important thing and the exciting thing about this and what I am definitely moved by is to be able to bring this and to teach these tools to my team so they can realize some of the success that I've seen and we can all grow together. So I'm super excited about that. But I see this. I visualize this. I visualize changing lives. I visualize going on vacations with some of my team members or meeting up at the events. I can actually see us going and, and sharing and, and being very excited with all of this. So these things are my dream. They're in my visualization every day. And this is what gets me excited every day when I get out of bed and I don't have to begrudge getting up and having to go to work. It's not a job. It's a dream that I am foreseeing. So I'm super excited about that. I encourage all of our, our people that are joining us and become builders to really realize this because this is what fuels that dream and that excitement. So I truly believe, and I, again, I, this morning I sat in on the mentors coaching call and I absolutely loved it. And I, I sort of brought this in from what she was talking about today, because it really was 
um, important to realize that success is an equation. It's a simple equation. It includes mindset. It includes education, um, skill, definitely some skill involved. Um, yeah, skill, <laughs> action, and people. And those components will equal success. So mindset, we talked a little bit. I want you to spend about 15 minutes a day. It does not have to be of those, even if it's spare time, right? A couple hours a day, 15 minutes a day to spend time on you. Mindset right? It could be um, affirmations. It could be positive thinking. I, by nature, am, I think I was born an introvert. I love my mother. I am my mother's daughter, without a doubt. My father was the social one. Joe and I probably mimic my mom. I mean, it's just natural that we're together because my mom was the introvert and my dad was the social one. Well, Joe is my extrovert and I am the introvert in the family and I think we just blend so well because when I need his energy he shares that with me but I'm super um focused on the fact that this is just who I am it's not a strength of mine to to get out there and ugh, go crazy all the time so I'm definitely an introvert so the 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 personal development if you have any doubts about your ability I just know and and recognize, right, that you do have it in you to change if this is what you want. You are not destined to not be successful, okay? We just need to tap into the strengths that you have and to find the, the path or path, find the road that is going to allow you to excel with the strengths that you have. So mindset is really important. And whether it's um, this book that uh, was recommended, and I'm definitely picking this up today. I've read some of the uh, audio book, but sometimes I need a visual. So Successful pr pr or Success Principles by Jack Canfield. I've read his audio or listened to his audio book, um, but I'm definitely going to order this as well because I'm definitely a visual learner. And just to read a little bit of that and to instill that into your brain. Um, but there are other wonderful personal development. The, um, the Secret is an amazing one. It talks about um, just the, the secret of the universe and how positive mental thoughts will actually bring positive things to you. So there are a number of things that you can work and focus on mindset. I, I encourage you to do that every day. Education, 30, 15 to 30 minutes every day, learning about the oils and the products. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about some of those resources that are available to you from doTERRA. It doesn't have to cost a lot. Yes, you can download, you can take some of the certification courses. We'll talk about those. And at some point you will, but you can do something as simple as going to doTERRA site and looking at their PIPs, which is the product information pages at the bottom of every um, page on a doTERRA product, it, there'll be a little link that says PIP, and you can just simply download it and it'll give you all the information on that. Um, but there are a number of resources. Definitely as you're learning, you don't need to be an aromatherapist, um, but there's so much compliant information that doTERRA shares on the oils to help educate you. And of course, start with the oils that you have. At the point that you've joined us or you've experience the essential oils, learn everything about the oils that you have. So as you share your story, you can also share the information and share the content of the products that you already know, like, and trust because they worked for you. So that's going to be really important that you're, you're educating yourself on those. Let me, okay. So, and then that fifth or fourth next component is skill right, which is where the pipes comes in. And we're gonna talk a little bit about doTERRA's, what I call, consider doTERRA's business plan, which is our pipes. And how do we build pipes? Well, remember the story, again, the man hauling buckets and while he was hauling buckets and building that income for his family and feeding his family, he was taking time to build the pipeline, right? And that's gonna be really important, but how do we do that? So the business plan with doTERRA focuses on this con concept, prepare, invite, present, enroll, support, rinse and repeat, right? So it's a very simple business plan, but it works and it can, and it works consistently if you follow that. So what does preparing mean? 
right? We want to visualize yourself with that growth and the success. We're going to create a names list. We have to prepare. Who are we talking to? Now, names list back in the day with network marketing was like, grab the list and put a list of 100 people together and who they know and who that, you know. And a lot of people sort of push back from that because they're like, oh, I don't want to sell my family again and all the people that don't even know me. How do we do this? Names aren't all, names lists aren't always built off of the people that we know, especially now with the internet, social media, um, these websites, uh, platforms, we're connecting with people. We're going to talk a little bit about lead generation and how you can grow an audience that way. But certainly starting with this simple practice is really important because at the end of the day, I have connected with friends from high school and grade school who I have not seen in years. But I remember them and I wrote them down and I was able to connect with them. And it's part of the human nature to reconnect and social media has done that for us really. I mean, the beautiful thing if I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Facebook is either a villain or, or, or it's been, a, it's either been good or bad for us for the most part, but it has kept people together and it's allowed us to connect with people that we might not have seen or connected with. Um, so it's really important to write those people down. Now, are we going to call them up and say, hey, buy this from me? No, but building those relationships is really important. So write those people down, create that names list, and then think in the back of your mind, how else am I going to grow this list with people that I don't know? And we're going to talk about that too. Class handouts. Now, this is something that you're going to become familiar with. And this is part of the prepared because I want you to become familiar with the classes that you will eventually teach on your own. But you don't have to teach the classes by yourself. Um, I'm going to encourage you to have the classes. I will help you teach them. Our leaders will help you teach them. Um, so that's not a concern. We've got, um, Patty can help you teach them. How, however you join us, we will make sure that your classes are being taught. But the class handouts are definitely something as you're preparing, you want to understand because it touches on the, the why and the how, and what is an essential oil, and where it comes from, and the, the story of doTERRA. And these are things that I, you definitely will want to know. And then um, Health Can Be Simple Book. It's uh, definitely available in your back office. It's a great tool that you can use. doTERRA has some amazing online certification things. This is also something where you can incorporate that little step of educating yourself 15 minutes a day, just a little bit more about the, the oils and the education. It's a great step and I definitely want you to keep that in mind. The support that's available from doTERRA and I've used the slide in the previous days, but I wanted to dig into this a little bit. So we've got the mentor instructions, we've got the share guides, we have the live guides, we have the build guides, we've got leadership guides, we have all of the tools that are going to be available to help you take your business to the next level. And being prepared means understanding those. Now you don't need to be like in Diamond Club from the second you start, we want to remember those steps, right? We want to get on the first step before we start reaching for the top step. So training and becoming confident in the oils that you're talking to people about and really just focusing on those top 10 oils. You do not need a 201 to be a 201 expert on a Lang Lang and, and fennel, okay? If, unless your focus is like Patty's digestion and she knows what oils and what blends and, and those specific, because that's her passion. Those are the things that she's focused on. But as you start your business, I want you truly to just keep it simple and focus on those top 10 or 13 oils. We have some beautiful blends that have been introduced, you know, including the adaptive and copaiba, which isn't a blend, but it's still a beautiful oil that I would consider to be some of the, one of the top oils and balance. So these oils are where you're going to focus on and really educate yourself. Um, our doTERRA back office is just has everything at our disposal. So again, I still consider this to be part of that preparedness or the P in the pipes, because all just know that these resources are available to you and, um, and you will never feel alone <laughs> in this regard, but we're always available to help you navigate this and to find what you need. Then of course, um, leadership. 
So the leadership stories, when I started getting the leadership magazine, I was blown away. When I took those 15 minutes, maybe or just to just to sort of set some time off for yourself when you, when you're not working on personal development, you just need something to read or you're trying to unwind at the end of the night and disconnect all of the things, pick up the leadership magazine or pull it up on your screen and read it and read some of the stories of these diamond leaders who literally have started from nothing, who thought they were going to be bankrupt. And within a couple of years, they're, they're leading teams and they've changed so many lives and they've changed their own. The life-changing stories that come out of the leadership of um, business builders within doTERRA is so inspirational. I definitely encourage you to look into that. doTERRA puts a beautiful quarterly magazine out called Living Magazine. This is a great resource. You can purchase these on the back office, but they're also available in a download, which costs you nothing. So to get this digitally on your phone is again, another resource. They offer recipes and solutions for the products. And then at the back end, it's um, essentially a middle, mini catalog for the products. So this is a great tool that you can share with people. And then we've touched, like I said, the slide has been there too, but at the bottom of your um, login, you're gonna have online courses. And this is where you're building certification, your sales pro with doTERRA business, all of these courses are available to you as a wellness advocate. So I want you to know as you develop your skills and you get comfortable enrolling people and inviting them to classes, that we will definitely be here to help you to those next steps. And you will, you will absolutely love the education and the training that comes with this. And that's all part of P, but it's easy and it's always going to be there. Um, invite is the next one. So prepare, invite right? Share your story. Remember last night's homework, we talked about answering some of those questions. Why did you use doTERRA? Why, what brought you to essential oils in the first place? How did it make you feel before, right? You found these solutions and how has it changed your life? Understand and know your story. Okay. And so you can share that with others because it's part of the inviting process. Why would somebody want to come to one of your classes if you don't even believe in the products yourself? And we know you do, which is why you're here. So being able to confidently share that with people is super important. So don't make it too complicated. It doesn't have to be long. You know, we're not trying to bore people with our life's history. Um, but at the end of the day, to really feel comfortable with your story is, is a great response. Now, not everybody's story is going to resonate with everybody. So listen to other people's stories. Listen to leaders' stories. There's plenty of them out there. I can direct you. And certainly within that leadership guide is another access and resource um, when, when they're sharing stories as to how these oils have changed their lives. So you can share other people's stories too. You know, if you're talking, I'm I'm old, you know, I've got grandchildren. <laughs> but if I'm talking to a young mother with children, I might share a story that I heard from another leader who has young children as well, where she shared the fact that, you know, her little one was always coming back from daycare and they were sick all the time. Unfortunately, that's not something I personally can relate to, but a young mother with children who has children in daycare would definitely um, resonate with that. But the story I would share with them is how she started taking that on guard roller and just applying it to the bottom of her little one's feet and to her feet. And it got to a point where it didn't matter after times she just wasn't getting sick anymore because she was making that simple change. So little stories like that can help and you might need to use other people's stories when you're sharing with people who have situations that aren't necessarily ones that you personally have relationship. So open yourself up to learning other people's stories so you can share those compliantly with others. And by compliance, I mean, we're, we're speaking within this, what, what from a massage standpoint, we speak, speak within the scope of our practice, right? You don't talk out of school. You know, you don't, you don't predict, you don't treat, you don't try to diagnose anybody. 
We're not trying to heal any particular conditions, health con concerns, but we're asking questions. We're seeing how they're feeling. If it's an emotional support, there's definitely resources that'll help us identify some of the oils that can help with that. But speaking compliantly means that we're not talking about actual conditions and we're offering solutions to help people feel better. Um, and we'll certainly go into more depth with that as we're working with you and training with you. So, um, invite people to other people's classes. I am going to be hosting live classes and that tonight at 6.30, I've already scheduled it on this group page um, for our HHH wellness community page uh, for the Healthy, Happy, Strong Essential Oil Experience. Um, so every Wednesday night, I am recommitted. I'm doing this full time, kids. So I will be there every Wednesday night. And if you aren't able to host a class and teach it yourself, invite them to the community page so they can participate in that. And then you show up up with them so you can then follow up with them directly and answer questions or schedule time with them so your leader or I can help you follow up with them. So invite people to classes or host a class yourself or you can even invite people to host a class for you and until you're ready to teach your own class we'll help you teach it yourself. But inviting people is definitely a key to this business plan. You have to invite people to participate um, before they can learn about the oils and actually make a decision. And inviting people to a class is, is, I love live classes because they get to experience it, right? Things have changed. Initially, of course, with COVID, we were doing everything online. Um, and I'll continue to offer online because we can reach a broader or audience. But at the end of the day, having that personal experience and smelling the oils is really impactful. And we've found a lot of people have really um, enjoyed it and, and really make that decision a lot easier when they've experienced the oils. So if you can host a live class or have a live class, I always encourage that. And oh, and then of course, the other thing is to invite people to learn about the opportunity. So until you understand and can teach the opportunity, use these recordings to share with people, right? So invite people. One of the mistakes I made early on is not sharing the business opportunity with more people. It's my only I'm not going to say regret because everything I've done has not been a regret here, but it's definitely been a process. And I definitely will always encourage people when they first get started to, to recognize the fact that this is an opportunity that everyone could certainly use. Um, so don't forget to invite people to learn more about the opportunity. P, the next P is present. So you, again, you're going to share your story live with the group or online, right? You're going to share other people's stories. Keep it simple. Keep it short. No big deal. And then we're going to walk through the class. Again, you don't need to be an expert. We have taught so many classes. And even to this day, I will use this handout. So A, I'll stay on track so I don't go rambling off into some, you know, distant, um, topic because I can, I can definitely veer off into other areas. Um, so using these handouts is so important because anyone can teach a class, right? And anyone can share the information and educate people. So share the products. We're going to pass the oils around and actually let them smell it. And we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to share a couple of the oils that are included in the kit. So lemon or lavender or peppermint are obviously the most impactful impactful. They're calming, they're uplifting, and they're fresh. So present and introduce them to the opportunity, and that's all part of the class. And then um, enroll them. You know, at the end of the class, we're going to give them that opportunity to enroll. And that's going to be one of those steps. It's P-I-P-E, right? P Pre prepare, invite, present, enroll. So Teach people how to order on their own account is so empowering. I can't tell you how many people I know that um, started this and they did their business. And if they came from another network marketing, they, it's almost like they created their, um, their accounts or they got their qualifying orders by ordering multiples. So they would get, reach that volume, 
right? So they'd order, you know, 10 lavenders and, or they'd reach out to people and say, hey, you know, I'm going to be putting an order in. Who needs something? You can order on my account. So they could get enough volume to qualify. But unfortunately, I see that as more hauling buckets because if you don't empower your customers or the people you've introduced to the oils to order on their own, okay, um, they're not going to order on their own without you. So the there goes your residual opportunity to make money while you're sleeping. So I definitely encourage you not to order for people, but to educate them and empower them to order for themselves. If you consider the wholesale comp, and I often we joke about this and say, as, as doTERRA wellness advocates, we're, we're not necessarily salespeople, we're educators, but if you think of us as sort of the tour guys of the Costco Wholesale Club, um, you know, we educate people and show them where they can find what they need. That is our role. Now, ultimately, yes, we ask for the sale. We ask them to get started. We ask them to enroll. Um, we empower them to have their own account. Um, so yes, there's some sales involved, but at the end of the day, if they say no, I'll just continue to educate them until they're ready. Right? I'm not going to force them, you know, because at the end, people don't know what they don't know. And sometimes it's just not time. I've had customers join me who had been watching my videos and watching my posts for like two years. Like, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> like, great, let's go. No harm, no foul. Just get them started. So Enrolling people is super easy. We've got funnels, we've got your website that's going to be available to you when you upgrade your account. You can share that link, get them started. doTERRA now offers unique um, links that we will teach you how to use so you can provide them with that unique link until you have funnels of your own. But the links are completely free to you so they don't add to your operating costs. So it's a great way, very easy to get people started. Um, I'm excited now that you have these tools available to you that weren't available when I got started. So I'm super excited, makes it very easy. And then S, finally, support, right? So this is where our emails come in, our nurturing, our education, our community pages like this, where we shall share social media information. Maybe we educate people about the promotions. I don't know if you saw today's post, we're so excited. We've got a BOGO that was just announced. So those happen all the time. So I'm super excited that um, we have these a wonderful company that's going to present specials to us. Um, and doTERRA does a great job at emailing all their customers. So you don't have to constantly be selling, selling, selling. At the end of the day, as a business person, long-term, I want you to sell you. People, remember, people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So when we visualize who is my business, what is my business, you're not doTERRA your Sally or your Rebecca or your M Melissa or your Patty or your Jenny who is sharing information and customers are gonna buy from Sarah or Rebecca or Melissa or Patty. They can buy from doTERRA by Googling it and finding somebody else, but they're gonna trust you. So as we're visualizing and we're putting a message out there, I want the message to be you. Who are you and how do you make a difference? Because we are all unique. We have a great product. We have a great business plan. We have a great opportunity for people to really come and feel like they're part of the family, part of the tribe. And that is going to help us all succeed. And I am so excited for you to be a part of this. So um, our membership site is something that I've invested in recently that we are making available to everyone within our tribe and our organization. So you'll learn more about that. Um, and the corporate events that doTERRA puts on, oh, let me tell you, they're life-changing. They're so exciting. They're so inspirational. Um, I wish we were going to the... Um, convention this year, but we'll be out of town and just can't make it. And, uh, but I am going next year and I'd love you all to join me there. But, um, but we are going to be hosting a watch party for the convention. So um, getting started, we'll, we'll definitely have some fun with it. So getting together and supporting your customers, supporting your tribe um, makes this business really fun. So um, you'll, you'll enjoy it. You really will. It's a great part, but it's, and then we're just going to repeat the process again, pipes, present, prepare, invite, present, 
enroll and support. So success is really a simple equation. And again, my mentor shared this with me and I captured it from her. But if we put it into a simple equation of mindset, education, skill, action, and people, that is what equals success. And if we keep it that simple, right, we can always find that other thing to make, not necessarily make it more complicated, but make it a little bit more unique to us. Um, some of our leaders, Patty and I, will always find these clever ways to share and focus targeted information on nutrition or emotions. These are our trigger spots for us. These are the things that really fire us up and offer additional solutions for people. So, but if we just keep it simple within the doTERRA business, this is all you need to do. So mindset, be prepared to succeed, be giving of yourself to say, I can do this, right? Um, invite some people to take action, um, effective behavior, schedule and host those classes. So we talked about mindset and visualization, educating yourself. This action is so important because you can be all as prepared as possible, but maybe not as confident to go out and start something. Just do it just a little bit. Take little baby steps. The more you do it, it's like anything. It's like riding a bike. It's like doing these videos. Honestly, if I showed you some of the original videos and they're on the list in our library for the YouTube channel, go check those out. My initial videos were sort of silly, not silly, but you could tell how nervous I was. <laughs> so at the end of the day, the more we do it, the more confident we're going to be, right? So taking action is really important. It establishes effective behavior. You're going to, um, oh, I got usage, learning. So using, learning, sharing, teaching, and enrolling and supporting. These are all really important things as, as far as taking action. And then people, making those connections, the social connections. Um, you're not going to spend all day on social media things, but we're going to talk about that here really quick because um, actually I'm going to fly through some additional um, slides here because we've got about 15 minutes left and I want to stay on track, but I do have some additional information I want to share with you in your visualizing, right? Because connecting with people is where most people stop and say, this is not for me. I don't know enough people. I don't have an audience. I'm not that, um, you know, I'm not that person that has a thousand people following me already. It doesn't matter because this is how you start right? This is how you build that audience. When people open a pizzeria, they have no customers to start, okay? They might have friends and family that love their pizza and say, you should start a pizza company, you know, but when they first open their doors, they have no customers. So same is true here, but you got to take action. You got to start. So personal connections, at least an hour or two a day, even if you join. So join other groups. So if you're interested in gardening, join some garden groups, connect with people, right? Comment on their posts. Um, actually, in, you know, start conversations with them and say, oh, absolutely. Great idea. I'm starting to do this too. When you build relationships with people that you've never met before, you're now establishing a new connection. And at the point that you friend request them, you can say, oh, what do you do? Well, this is what I do. Can I include you? And in, can I invite you to one of the groups I'm involved in? We're going to teach you all of that. So some of the business tools that you're gonna have at your disposal, you've got a digital marketing tool free to you. Empowered Success is another online resource that Toterra offers. This is going to give you all the resources you need to teach a class or to host classes. We will help you through that. Um, it really is everything that you need. The digital marketing kit, I, those are in two different orders here, but the digital marketing kit is amazing. It has all of the compliant pictures that you'll need at your disposal. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it includes the videos, images, even has PowerPoint presentations to make it really simple. Um, we have a whole library. I've, I have a six-year library of all of the classes I've ever done as part of our team. Those will be available to you as well. And you can screenshot this or just go to this link and this will take you to the digital marketing kit. I'd go there with you, but honestly, I will run over. So I wanted to share this with you because you will have to log in with your doTERRA login. 
it's not open to the public. Um, but when you log in with your doTERRA login, it'll give you access to all of the um, various markets. It'll give you Canada, it'll give you Asia, it'll give you all of the markets and specifically um, the different topics and, and oils that you can share images on. Other business tools include doTERRA Social. Um, as a team, we already subscribe to this. Um, this is what generates some of these shared um, posts that you're seeing that we can brand with our images, your logos, what have you, so you can have that voice. Patty has a couple groups of her own that focus on nutrition. She's incorporated those into the doTERRA Social. So when she's sharing information specific to digestion, she can share it just on that page. Um, we also have a tribe page for all of our customers that is information is shared there. And I try and keep that page for just managing like membership information, but I will definitely uh, share specials that come up because I want our customers to know first before anybody else. So of course the university is available. These, the Enroll Pro is another um, social media platform, or excuse me, it's a contact management platform that was developed by one of the leaders within doTERRA. It is a paid program. Penny, if you can nod your head, is this also available free? Is there a free version of this? Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought so. It's been a while since I've used it um, because we use uh, a different platform now, but Enroll Pro does have a free version. And it's nice because it does offer um, compliant marketing material already created for you. So we will certainly support you as you start to connect with your customers. And at the point that you outgrow the free version and you want to use something else, we'll talk to you about the platform that we're using as a team and give you an opportunity to take advantage of that. Or, um, or you can certainly upgrade your, your Enroll Pro account and, and have full access to the additional resources that are available there. Um, OneDrop is another resource created by a doTERRA um, a leader, which is a paid program, but they have free um, options and marketing options as well. They have some content calendars that allow you to present and, and distribute information on social media. So really the business tools are endless. They can be a little distracting. So maybe as a team, we'll definitely make sure that we're all on point. But at the end of the day, this is your business. You don't work for me. You don't work for Patty. You don't work for anybody but you. And you will be able to present this in a way that means and makes the most sense for you. And then um, Canva is another resource we use as a team. I also use Loom. So if you don't know how to do something, I might create a short video that we show people how to log in and use a screen or, or screenshot, but it actually does screenshots of a, a little to-do video. So we love Loom. Google Workspace is a shared drive that we offer um, where we put all of these six years of PowerPoint presentations. So you'll have access to that. Social Fox is our our dream uh, platform that really has taken what I experienced with Enroll Pro, um, but Social Fox for me takes it to the next level where we're also now generating leads and we're integrating with other platforms like um, Shopify and Facebook and Messenger. So everything's under one roof. It's actually cost less money from an operating standpoint. And I absolutely love this platform. Plus it allows us to send out automated emails. So we're not missing the dropping the ball in supporting the customers that we have and support is such a key part of that business plan. So mobile apps that we use, Modern Essentials, New Essential Life. Um, these are books and resources. You do not need to be an expert. Do not feel like you don't know enough about the essential oils to educate and teach people because these resources and these books are available. And I can guarantee you, I probably look to my phone and the app um, for both the emotional support and the Modern Essentials for actually uh, conditions probably on a daily basis, two or three times a day. Um, yes, I'm a trained aromatherapist. Yes, I've done the education and the certification. But there's only so much room up here in this brain and, and I can't always recall it. So I definitely rely on this because I wanna keep it simple, right? I don't need to give the whole backstory as to why an essential oil works every time I'm sharing information. So these resources are available to you as well. And I'd love for you to, I'll teach you how to use those so you can feel confident in using them and sharing oils. 
So um, goals on social media are really important, I think, for you to, to learn. I mean, there's TikTok, there's so many, we're going to touch on those. But I think it's really important that on social media, we're looking to establish trust, right? And that's why understanding what compliancy means and not sharing more than we should be is really important. It's important to establishing trust with people so they understand you're not, you know, selling them a bridge um, if they don't need one, you know, education is key also. And keep in mind the new platforms and the algorithms, um, doesn't matter what platform, we're gonna to touch on all of them really quick, but they're really the, the live stream videos. Some of them are really cute, but at the end of the day, the ones that are really going viral and going out are the education ones. So keep that in mind when you're visualizing, how can I teach people how to use lemon? How can I teach people how to, how do I use lavender? How do I use digest sun? How do I use peppermint and stick to those top oils? Keep it simple, you know, and record it and reshare it. You know, it's fun at value, right? It should always be an added value. Um, and then with those social connections, you're going to be building that contact list. So that names list that we talked about isn't always going to be friends and family. It's going to be the people that you've connected with on social on social even. And they can be people you've never met before. But at the point that you're friends now and you've asked their permission to include them in your names list, all you need is their email, right? And we're going to add them to your email list. And now they become a potential customer and an asset. At the end of the day, your email list is a valuable asset for your business. And if Facebook shuts down tomorrow, you'll lose all of the contacts but you will not lose your email list. So definitely important to build that email list and, and it's a valuable asset for your business. Visualize and choose your role, right? What do you wanna do? I don't recommend that you do everything. I think at the beginning, and I'm a little ADD, I will, I will follow shiny objects every day. Um, yes, I have an Instagram account. Yes, I have a YouTube account. Yes, I have a TikTok and Pinterest. And, you know, and some of it's just fun. But I'm, if you're not consistently educating people, if people don't know where to find you, right, as you're first starting out, it can be overwhelming and you will spend far too much time on social media building these accounts then you are growing your business. And I want you to make money fast. I want you to hit those goals. When you hit that premiere and you're making $900 a month, you'll have a little bit more time to start up a new account, right? So visualize where you see yourself doing your business, sharing your story, building that audience. You know, if you're happy with gardening and you want to do a blog, maybe you're more of a writer, again, introvert, I, my whole online ex, exposure started with my blog because I'm not a visual person. You won't see me doing a lot of visual TikToks and videos with my face. I'm just not that person. It doesn't make me happy. <laughs> I love to share it with people that I know, like, and trust because I'm comfortable talking with you here. But at the end of the day, I just am not comfortable with that. So my blog is really important. Podcast, I'm actually doing some research to do a podcast. I love interviews. I love doing collaboration with other leaders where we talk about subjects and that would make a perfect podcast. So I am looking right now to expand my business through podcasting. Emails, we do emails. Through our system, we do automated emails. We have the templates already created. It's simple and the information's available and email connecting and supporting is definitely something you're going to learn how to do and direct contact, obviously. Learn how to sample customers. We have these wonderful, adorable little bottles you can get in your back office. You can get them on Amazon, but keep it simple. You can get them in your back office. Sharing a sample is so important. And when you meet somebody, direct contact with them. I always have sample bottles with me. You know, it's ultimately somebody's going to be like, oh, I just, my head hurts. Do you have something? It's like, you know me, I'm an essential oil girl. I don't carry any pills, but here I got this. Let's try a little peppermint here, here and here. Next thing you know, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, so now we've shared an experience with somebody when we made a direct contact and that's where we build. So I always have certain oils with me to sample. Facebook page. Let's touch on these really quick. I'm going to try and stay on. So 
With Facebook, you want to create a business page. But again, we're going to talk about that together once you get started. But think about, visualize what you want your business page. I recommend now, I started as Open Road Essentials because my husband and I love motorcycles. We're always on the road. We had open road travel where we did um, uh, transportation and we hauled RVs. So it was sort of as a spinoff of that open road. Um, but honestly, had I known better, I probably would have just stuck with my business name because people ultimately buy from Jennifer Knorick. So when you're creating a business page, um, although it's nice to have a brand name like Open Road Essentials and Patty has wonderful, she does the um, healing health, healthy, oh my gosh, HHH, so healthy, holistic healing. <laughs> so we all, and I have Healthy, Happy, Strong, which is really our tribe's name right? It's sort of the feeling that you're going to get when you use the oils. So we have these trade or brand names, which are great for group names. But ultimately, I think when a business name or a business platform comes up, you should have your personal name. So you're going to create a business page, a group page for your for your customers, potential customers. Um, and that's really going to be important. And I want you to incorporate because Facebook is definitely a platform that's going to be here to stay. So I encourage you to participate in other groups, whether you, I wouldn't, don't jump on every doTERRA group you find out there because they love those girls, but they can spin off into everywhere. So if you find good leaders, I will definitely encourage um, you to cross train with folks as well. I certainly do. But when you join other groups to learn more, um, make it specific to topics of interest that you can expand your business. Like I said, gardening or nutrition, or maybe it's exercise or little kids or soccer moms or motorcycling or something to that extent. So you can build that audience and communicate. Participating in these Facebook groups is social activity that Facebook encourages. Um, and you will meet people that you could potentially add to your names list. So that is definitely something that could be a business building activity for you that I would encourage you to do. And then, um, and then of course, participate in our tribes comments as well. As you start to invite people and enroll them, you're gonna invite them to our tribe, tribe page, which is our teams page, and we'll continue to educate them. But I also encourage all of our builders to interact with those posts. Ultimately, the algorithms within Facebook will show it to more people if more people are liking and commenting and participating in the posts. So um, it's sort of a, an interesting, you know, thing, but um, that's Facebook. But not all customers are on Facebook, right? Which is why we do emails. Um, and that's where communicating with your customers and understanding what their interests are and where they are um, is so important in supporting them. Instagram, again, you can have a business or a personal profile. You're going to share lifestyle pictures. It's not always going to be a product. Every time you just share a picture of a doTERRA product, okay, you're instilling, which is fine. We love the products, right? But you're stilling recognition or identification of a doTERRA item. And if they don't remember your name, they'll always remember doTERRA. And then when they can't remember your name, they'll just search doTERRA and then somebody else's information might come up. So when you're sharing on Instagram, share the fact that you've used an oil and share how you've used it and invite them to contact you for more information. Don't be so short to just say, here's an oil, it's on sale, check it out, right? I want you to, here's an oil, this is how I use it. I'd love to teach you more about it. Contact me for more information because we don't want them going directly to uh, Amazon. I have good friends that contact me and say, oh, I'd love to buy something from you, but you know, so can you send me a link? And I did. And they're like, well, I, I found it on Amazon and it's included. So I, I only, I don't have shipping. So I just bought it there. And I'm like, oh, you know, but this tells me I need to educate her better on the difference of these products on Amazon because they're not pure. There's no guarantee. And yes, the it's free because of her Amazon Prime, but it's bundled in. You know, she's paying retail. But um, but yeah, long story. I don't want to go down that road. <laughs> so you're building trust with your Instagram. Be consistent. Obviously, if you're considering Instagram, 
you don't want to post once a month to build an audience and for Instagram to actually show your reels or your information to potential followers, you have to be consistent. So it's like anything, it's part of managing that business or managing that leads or getting new contacts. If you only do it once a month, consider not doing it at all. Okay. Because um, you're not going to build uh, a customer base that way. Um, unless you're going out and reaching out to people and say, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Okay. So to build that con uh, contact list, you have to be consistent. Um, did we already talk about Instagram? Instagram. Oh, I guess we have a double slide. Sorry. YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. This is certainly something that at some point you're going to, you're going to start, but I would definitely encourage you to check out YouTube for education, doTERRA, and doTERRA Science have wonderful pages with all the videos. You can download them, you can share them, you can resource them, you can share them with potential customers. So if you don't understand the CPTG or the co-impact sourcing, know how important it is and you can share those videos. And YouTube is definitely a platform that you're gonna to wanna to understand how to capture those. We'll certainly help you with it. We have a HHS Tribe channel um, that we will be sharing educational videos on. And I would encourage you to go to that and um, subscribe so you get access to new posts that we put up. Not all of them are public. So only our subscri subscribers get access to it. And it's a new channel, I'll be honest with you. You're not gonna see a lot of subscribers, but, um, but we just opened this up. So please check that out and um, know that this is a resource and a tool you'll have available. TikTok, some people are TikTokers, so it's definitely something to keep in mind. But again, they're fun, they're engaging, they have to be short and to the point, consistency is key um, and compliancy. You know, you can definitely focus on how people feel. You wanna sleep better, you want less back pain, you want better skin, you know, and this is how I did it, you know, but don't say this is what cured it, this is how, what took care of it, right? We're not making those claims, we're just saying, oh, my back, <sighs> this is great. So simple solution solving problems, fun, entertaining videos. This is what's going to cover podcasts. This is what's sort of exciting to me. You don't have to be a natural born communicator to actually have a podcast. You don't have to have a large um, following already. This is what's going to help that following, but a focus niche is really important. Um, so you don't have to, um, what was the riches are in the niches and there's an advantage to narrowing down that focus. So focusing just on the nutrition, right? How many moms out there, how many people out there, how many men out there are really in the back of their mind, not necessarily publicly on, on Facebook, right? Are looking to learn more about nutrition, you know, and they don't necessarily want to be public with it, but to have a podcast or have an opportunity to share a little bit about how to lower your blood sugar or what you should be eating differently. Or, you know, if it's another topic like gardening, you know, we can talk about, you know, how to actually test your soil and understand what, you know, acidity and pH means to, to proper, properly grow certain things. So these topics are really important and they help you establish a new community, building trust. So when you do share and add that additional, and this is what I use naturally to keep the pests at bay, or this is what I use to help my body be bioavailable to the nutrients that I'm giving it. Now you're adding in the products that have become a financial resource for you. Not to mention any of these resources as you become a a big influencer or you start to bring more audience in there, then of course there's different opportunities with affiliate leads and affiliate links. And we'll teach you about all of that too. So the opportunities really are endless to make money online while you sleep. Um, and doTERRA is just a great foundational product to make that happen. Um, of course, blogs, love my blogs. Um, I always have an opinion. So, but this is great, you know, focus on what you're passionate about. There's free ones, there's WordPress, there's Blogger, uh, which is through Gmail. Um, but your goal is about growing your list and always asking for those contacts. I'd love to send you more information. We're offering freebies. Here's a great ebook. Um, we'll show you how to access that information, create an ebook that you can share on your specific topic. It could be as simple as a, a cheap and easy or a fast daily use guide for essential oils. Those are already created for you. Uh, we make you available that available for you within that platform. So you can definitely share those. You can start 
bringing people to you. And then email, of course, constant contact. Unfortunately, that used to be our go-to. Uh, what's the other one? MailChimp. But they've changed the way they do business where they don't allow network marketers anymore. They literally will shut your account down. You can do all the work and then they'll shut your account down because you're a network marketer. Um, and that's because people abused it, unfortunately. So this is why I like to control my email. Um, platform. And this is why um, Enroll Pro is a good option. Um, although the free version, I don't believe offers the emailing capability, but, um, and then the, the platform that we use, which we'll talk more about in our group, um, our business group is definitely a platform that we absolutely love. So you have full control over what you're saying and how it's going out and no restrictions. But email is very important to supporting your customers. Um, and we want to keep it simple, right? Nobody likes to, and I, I made this mistake again, recently, I have a very good friend who's a coach and she even said to me, Hey, I'm getting your emails. I absolutely love them, but you're sending me novels, but I love to hear what you have to say, but I don't have this much time. So I've learned over time to keep them short, keep them simple. I love opening emails from somebody I know, like, and trust and reading their tip for the day. You know, and that's where we're going to help you help your customers educate them. So keeping it simple, that KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm old school, I'll say stupid, I don't care. Um, but being consistent, right? Again, really important. But again, as we go back and we say, what am I doing? You don't have to do it all. Keep it simple. I just want you to pick one. So our, this is our, our joining us is going to be really important. I love this platform. It's an all-in-one platform. It has lead funnels. So again, you can offer that freebie. Hey, you've seen, you, you've all seen them. Hey, add, um, join my email list and I'll send you this free download. That's a lead funnel where you're actually capturing their information. Um, and that can funnel and it's automated for you too. So I absolutely love it. It has an appointment scheduler. It has uh, contact management, customer relationship management. So you can keep track of the communication that you have. You can see what emails have gone out to them. Not too many email systems. I don't even know that Enroll Pro does that where it tracks I think it does maybe know where it tracks what information has already gone out to them and how they responded and replied. That's what I love about the platform that we're using. It tracks what they've done, how they replied. It's, um, it uh, integrates through messenger and text messaging and Instagram and Spotify and PayPal. It's great. It's an absolutely wonderful platform. So we're excited to have that as a resource. So if you haven't already, if you're not a customer with doTERRA already, I'd love for you to get started with us. You're simply going to enter in my email or this website, jenniferknorick.com forward slash get dash started. And that is going to take you to a landing page where you can get started with the um, as a wellness advocate. And then you'll have options as to what kit you want to get started through. And it's very simple. This will take you to the doTERRA site. You're going to be buying directly from doTERRA. They're going to guarantee your oils and your products. You're going to have free shipping with those enrollment kits. Um, and, and then we will be in touch to actually help you with your next step. So your only homework for today is I want you to visualize what your tomorrow is going to look like, right? If you're here, if you've watched all three days, um, I know you're curious about the business. I know you want to make a difference in your financial goals and where, and, and what tomorrow is going to be like for you, right? Um, you're working hard already. You're, you're hauling those buckets. You're making things happen for your family. Um, that can still continue as you're growing your business. But if you don't do these things, if you um, decide not to do these, where what's your tomorrow going to look like? What's three years going to look like? What's five years going to look like? I hope and I wish for you the very best, whatever you decide. Um, we certainly hope that you join us on this journey. It's always fun to build businesses together and to connect together. Um, but uh, visualization and empowering people to change lives for the better is really something that we're all very passionate about. And if this is where you see yourself, 
um, and what you want to do, we'd love for you to join us. Join us for the watch party, uh, September 14th through the 17th. Um, I don't know quite how we're going to do this. If you're locally, we'll have a party here and we'll actually watch it. Um, we might stream it. We'll figure out how to stream it, um, give you access, but I'll have the ticket. So um, we'll be able to access all of the announcements and the entertainment and the, the different uh, education pieces that are such a big part of the conventions every year. Year. Um, and then next year we're committed to going together as a team. And that's it, my dears. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. This next week, um, we focus on our business team where we're going to be talking a little bit about the business platform, sharing your voice, creating your brand, um, building those that visual marketing strategy, automating that um, the support that you're going to offer your customers. We're going to talk a little bit more in depth for our customers that are already building to do this. We invite you to be a part of our team. We'd love you to be a part of our team. Um, and feel free to ask any questions you have. So thanks for joining us. And I hope you enjoyed this three-day boot camp. Take care.